Hello and welcome to the Kenneth Verkamen Law Office Legal Podcast, the NJ Laws Tube, looking at recent criminal statutes and cases. In this edition, we look at what is constructive possession. Now, oftentimes, police pull over a car, there's three, four people in the car, uh, and they find some pot, other drugs, they charge everyone in the car. And they say, constructive possession, everyone's automatically guilty. Well, Everyone's not automatically guilty. The state has certain elements. For example, number one, the state has to prove that the item uh, seized is, in fact, a controlled dangerous substance, a drug. I'd say, um, they, and if there's an objection by the defense attorney, they need to bring in a chemist to prove that. Uh, second, it must be proved that the defendant either obtained or possessed the substance. And third, it must be proved that the defendant acted knowingly or intentionally, knowing that it was some type of drugs. The state has to prove the intent the defendant acted intentionally and knowingly, um, that the defendant knew the nature and character of the item and proved that they had the a purpose to own it. Possession is the intentional control of an item accompanied by awareness of its character. Constructive possession, however, is when the defendant is aware of the substance as, and has an intention to exercise control over the substance. And that was based upon a New Jersey appellate case of State v. Brown, 67 NJ Super 450, appellate division, all the way back in 1962. So, someone's charged with um, possession of drugs, constructive possession. Um, they need to have their attorney plead not guilty and file the appropriate motion. So it's important if you're arrested, uh, hire experienced defense counsel. For other information, visit website njlaws.com. That's n-j-l-a-w-s.com or website benotguilty.com. That's b-e not guilty.com or call the law office of Kenneth Cameron, 732-572. Dash 0500. Thank you and good luck.